This is a DBMS question based on functional dependencies. We have a relation U which is having the attributes P, Q, R, S and T and these are the two functional dependencies that hold on it. And based upon these we need to determine which of these FDs can be derived from the given functional dependencies. So for this we can start with getting the closure of all the attributes so from this relation P derives Q, R. This can be decomposed into T derives Q and P derives R separately. Similarly, the next FD which we are having RS derives T. For this, we cannot decompose it like R derives T and S derives T because they are both collectively deriving T. So now based upon these, we write the closure of all the attributes as P star equal to, it will be able to derive itself, then Q and R. Then for Q, R, S and T, we do the same thing. The closure of Q is Q itself. Closure of R is R. And as we know from here, closure of R S is giving us T. So that is separately because we are taking two attributes on the left hand side. And all of the remaining are deriving themselves. So these are the closures which we have got. And now let us have a look at these options. First one is saying PS derives T. So let us take the intersection of closures of both P as well as S. If we combine both of them, so if there is PS on the left hand side, then we know that P can derive P, Q and R while R and S together can derive T. So we can say that P will derive R first and then R and S together will derive T. So in effect, this combines to give us PS deriving T. So the first FD can be inferred from the given two. Next one is R derives T. Now here, the second FD is RS are collectively deriving T and R does not derive S. So independently, R cannot derive T as well. So this FD will not hold true. The third one, P derives R, we have already got that. So it is holding the last one PS derives Q. Now since P can independently derive Q, so if we add another attribute on the left hand side which is S, then also PS will be able to derive Q. So this dependency also holds true in this case. So in total we have got A, C and D as the functional dependencies that can be inferred from those given to us. So this is the correct answer.